All right. Well, thanks for doing this. That's all right. Um, so what is your name and are you completing VCE or VCAL and what do you want to do when you leave school? Okay. Um, my name is Kate Dodson. I attend Horsham College and I'm currently doing VCE. And after school, I'm looking at doing some kind of science or engineering degree, probably, hopefully, fingers crossed. Yep, cool. What subjects are you doing and why did you choose those subjects? This year, I'm doing English because it's compulsory. Um, I'm doing specialists, physics and chemistry, mainly just because I enjoy them and I'm good at them. And last year, I also did methods, so I don't need to do five this year. Oh, cool. So you've got a bit of extra set time. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I didn't. I thought you picked up another one. I thought I didn't realize. No, I mean, I, I could have, but I yeah. chose not to. It's just easier to do four subjects, and it's more time to study the rest of them. Yeah, because they're pretty intense subjects, especially specialist maths. Well, okay. specialist is actually. I'm enjoying it. It's not too bad. It's pretty easy. It's chemistry and English are the hard ones. Yeah, I know. You always have said you don't like English, so <laughs> which sucks for you because that's the one you have to do. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what influenced your choices on selecting these subjects? Um, I guess it's, I, I enjoy them and that plays a part in it. Like when you choose your subjects, they need to be subjects that you enjoy, that you're good at and that will kind of get you where you want to go. But it's just lucky for me, all my subjects except English are those. I'm good at them, I enjoy them and they'll let me do what I want to do. Yeah. What was your favourite subject in year 10? Favourite subject in year 10? Oh, that's taking me back. Um, it was probably chemistry or physics, I reckon. Right. Um, and in year 10, did you, when you, did they have like a science subject called chemistry or when you were doing science and you were doing the chemistry and physics areas, you found them the most enjoyable? Yes, in year 10, that's when uh, we start to yeah, branch off. So in year nine, it was just general science where you did a physics component, a chemistry component. But in year 10, you did physics and you did chemistry and then there was also yeah. biology and psychology. But yeah. yeah. All right. What preconceived ideas did you have about VCE? Um, that it would be very fast paced and just go, go, go with no time for anything. And you're just constantly doing everything and is that what you think it's like uh, yeah to some extent I mean it's not as bad as I thought it would be as long as you stay on top of your work if you don't stay on top of your work it builds up very quickly and you'll be rushing for weeks to catch up oh, okay um, what is one characteristic you think senior school students need for senior studies good time management skills Okay. Time management is crucial. I don't have the best time management, so I keep running into a bit of trouble with that, but yeah. Cool. What is one thing you would have told your year nine or 10 self in regards to schooling for VCE? Um, do the work early. Don't wait until the last minute. Get it done to start with. Let it sit. Look back over it if you want, but just get it done early. Yeah. And how much time do you spend doing homework? Um, uh, because I'm only doing four subjects, I have two subjects each day. So I get about 100 minutes of study at school a day. But then at home after school, I also try to do a couple of hours, three hours each night, if and possible. And then on the weekend, I'll do a couple of hours total over the two days. Okay. And is that homework, is that study or is that assigned homework? Uh, that's probably more assigned homework to some extent. It is extra study, but as we're getting close to the exams, I am starting to do more extra study. So the assigned homework takes me probably yeah, a couple hours after school each day, then a couple hours on the weekend. But then I'm also going through like resources we've been given and I'm doing extra stuff to start preparing for exams. And that's right. adding a couple more hours throughout the week and then on the weekend as well. Yep. Um, and you like, on top of that, you are doing one subject less. So yeah. if you were doing another subject, it would be a lot because you would lose that a hundred minutes at school to do it. Yeah. It's intense. And what about on holidays? Do you spend a lot of time doing ho homework on holidays or study on holidays? I try to, I try to. 
I always set out with the idea of doing loads of homework, but it doesn't often turn out like that. I just do what we've been told to do. I, I would like to get more done and it would definitely be more beneficial, but I, I haven't done an awful lot over holidays. Yet. Yeah. All right. How do you prepare for assessments? Um, I find the best way to prepare for assessments is to ask teachers a what it's going to be on. So you can kind of focus more on what topics you need to know and then see if they've got any resources or suggestions for resources that you could access to use. And then just start early, do a little bit each night after school and just keep working as opposed to cramming. Yeah. Just, yeah. So if you know you have a sack on, how, for how many days out would you start studying as soon as you find out about the sack? So I know legally they have to give you like two weeks notice. Well, Do they're, they? They're, yeah, they're meant to. They're meant I found to. Out I've got a week next. I found out I've got a sack next week on Thursday. Yesterday. Oh, okay. Well, that's not really following the rules very well. Um, they should actually be giving you a calendar at the start of the year with all the sacks on it. But anyway, uh, I think we were given that. But that kind of fell yeah, apart. Window, yeah. So, do you start studying as soon as you know about it, or closer to the date? Uh, I guess it depends on the subject and how I feel about it. I, I usually do start studying earlier. Um, I, we got a physics sack. We were told about a physics sack, I think a week or two before school holidays. And so I started doing a little bit of stuff for that before holidays and then throughout holidays. And then the week or so before, after, well, uh, before the sack, after holidays. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. All right. What is the biggest challenge about VCE? And have you had to make any sacrifices in order to do well? Biggest challenge about VCE, ooh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I mean, this year, I don't know about other years, but this year for us, there have been a lot of sacks all on at once because obviously we were in lockdown. So we couldn't go into school and we couldn't do sacks. So we got back and there was like a week, two weeks of just sacks. And that was, that, that was hard. And the year 12s were just kind of out of it by the end of that period, a couple of weeks. Um, yeah. And sub and things I've had to give up. I haven't, I don't know whether I've had to give them up or they've just stopped because of lockdown. But at the start of the year, I did kind of put my extracurriculars on more of a back seat. So I'm, I'm usually involved in the school production and usually I play um, quite a large role in the stage crew team, like managing and that kind of thing. Yeah. But I was just kind of stepping back and letting other people take that role. And then um, I was part of the school band, but I kind of stopped that. And I didn't work as much as I could have. Part-time job, I could have done several shifts after school throughout the week, but I was really just trying to do one on, I think it was a Thursday, and then one on the weekend. Yeah. Awesome. And is there any advice you'd give students, like our students are currently in Year 9, is there any advice you'd give them getting ready for VCE? Um, pick subjects, not that you're just good at, but you enjoy it. it it's hard to study and do all the extra work if you don't enjoy the subjects and you don't have the motivation you've really got to do things that you're happy to do and enjoy doing i reckon yeah yeah good that is actually a very common thing that i've been hearing from current vce students is that you've got to pick the subjects you like because otherwise yeah. it'll make an a very long year or couple of years because absolutely it's one yeah. and two and then three and four yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, thank you. That was fantastic. Right. Yeah.